Hello friends, family and card fighters from around the world. Welcome back to my channel after an extended absence of many months. Today I'm bringing you another premium Kagura deck profile. This is one that I just sort of thought up in my head. I thought it was funny, so I thought I'd share it. <laughs> um, in this particular video, I'm just going to run through the list. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty. I will post a link to a longer deck profile where I do get into the details as why I made X choice, how the deck goes, etc. So if you're interested in that, that'll be in the description below. Anyway, let's just get right into the profile. For the starter, I play Wyvern Kid Lagra. Everyone uses these right upon draw card. I chose it because it's pretty. For my main grade 3, ooh, main grade 3, eight, the grade 3, Dragonic Waterfall, He's very OG for standard. Everyone knows what he does. When placed, choose one of your opponent's grade 2 or grade rear guards, retire it. When it attacks, Soul Blaster grade 3, this unit gets 10k, crit plus 1, and your opponent can't call Sentinels from hand. Awesome. It's pretty good, especially late game. You can hit a very high number. Next, I play four copies of Dragonic Overlord, the original one for standard. Again, everyone knows, Soul Blast 1, 10k, Vanguard Rearguard, and Vanguard skill once per turn. When this hits, Counter Blast 1, Discard 2, stand this unit, gets Draft minus 1. Pretty good. Pretty fun. And then last of the Great 3s, I run two copies of Fire Rage Dragon. When he's placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, put the top card of your deck into the drop zone. Choose the same number of your opponent's Rearguards as the grade of that card and retire them. If it was a grade zero, this unit gets a critical instead. So, you know, has a use. On the grade twos, I run three copies of Wyvern Strike Doha. When it's placed, you can counterblast and search for its partner, Wyvern Strike Garen, and call it to rearguard. It's continuous. During the battle, it attacked. If your opponent has no rearguards, your opponent cannot call normal units from hand to guard circle. So, just a bit of a guard restrict. Then I run four copies of Bellicosity Dragon. When your opponent's regard is retired during your turn, this unit gets 5k until the end of turn. I think at this point you'd be able to see where I'm getting. What my where I'm going. Next, finally, I run three copies of Dragon Knight Tanaz. He's a G generation break one, same skill as Bellicosity. When your opponent's regard is retired and put into the drop zone to the effect of one of your cards, this unit gets 5k. So basically the same thing. On to grade ones, I run four copies of Flame of Hope Elmo. He's like Cargo's favorite resource in standard. Uh, during the battle, this unit boosted, this unit gets 3k. When your opponent's regard is retired during your turn, retire this unit, draw a card, and counter charge one. So yeah. Pretty much a four of if you're running anything like it. Next, I run four copies of Lizard Soldier Raupia. Raupia, yeah. When your opponent's regard is retired during your turn, gets 5k. Exact same skill as Bellicosity. Then I run three copies of Dragon Monk Gyo Kuryu. I'm sorry if I butchered that and said it wrong. Again, exact same skill as Tanaz. Gen generation break one. When opponent's regard is retired due to one of your cards effects, it gets 5k. So, very good to what I'm trying to do. Then I run two. Stride Fodders is the final grade one. Because I do like striding. It's, you know, the best part of the game. And then to help me stride onto triggers, four of the stride break. Criticals, which were released a couple months ago. You know, fun times. Everyone loves them. Frees up a bit of space in the deck if that's what you're aiming to do. And then I run two Rock Shatha Criticals. Um, some people might question why I'm not running the Intersol 10k crit. I don't have any. Simple as that. Then I run four copies of Wyvern Guard Barry. Because a draw trigger that's also a perfect guard is awesome. 
and two generic drawers, red gem carbuncle, because lol. And then finally for the main deck, four heels, all 20k heels, because I love big shields. Um, and this deck doesn't resource much, so you don't need the other one. On to the stride zone, G zone. I run four copies of Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon, Dragonic Blade Master Titan. Titan, for anyone who doesn't know, is a very cool card to me anyway. He's got the blaze ability, he's a once per turn GB2, counter blast one, choose himself and flip him in the G zone, choose up to the same number of your opponent's regards as you have face up this guy and retire them, and then if blaze is active where you have more regards than your opponent, he goes critical as well. So he's, he's pretty good like that. Now this is where the deck gets fun. Three copies of Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon Zan Bust Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you figured it out now, I'm doing it. Uh, his skill is once per turn, turn a card face up, up from your G-Zone. You know, this guy. Retire all of your opponent's regards and all of your grade 3 or greater units get 10,000 power until the end of turn. Fantastic. Free board wipe any day of the week. Then I run three copies of Flare Arm Ziegenberg. Anyone who was around in the G era knows how popular this card came when Kagura got it. His first skill is Soul Blast 1, flip himself, retire a unit. Nah. His second skill is GB3, once per turn, counter blast one, choose the same number of cards from your hand as your opponent has rear guards, and discard them. At the end of the battle, you may pay said cost. If it's blazing, you stand it, and it gets drive minus two. So, you know. If it's set up right, you get a free restand, basically. You know, for a counter blast, you stand up again. Then I run one copy of the G8, because the G8 is awesome. Like Zambust, it's a free board wipe. His skill is Generation Break 8. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, retire all of your opponent's regards and all of your regards get 10,000 power. If three or more units are retired, he gets 10,000 and a critical. Awesome way to end the game. Then on to G-Guards. I run one copy of Abd Salam. His skill is Counter Blast 1. When this unit is placed on Guard Circle during the battle that your Vanguard was attacked, if your opponent by your opponent's Vanguard, should state that as well. You may pay the cost if you do. This unit gets 10,000 shield until the end of battle for each of your opponent's open rearguards. So in this deck, because you're board wiping a lot, when you use him, he should, you know, get some decent shield going. Then I run two copies of everyone's favourite G-Guardian, Denial Griffin. Counterblast 1. It, it, a set, Counterblast 1, retire the unit that's attacking you. <laughs> it's It's awesome. Uh, so it's, the actual skill is counter blast one. When this unit is placed in guard circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponents attacking regards and retire it. Why this is so good is because the way it was ruled means that not only are you retiring it, you're negating the attack. So he essentially, in a way, acts as another null if you can get him out. So yeah, definitely two. Always play two. If you're running Kagero, play two. Then I run one Asil Orb Dragon. He's a generic 20k. Just there if you want to get G up or you're in a bad sitch. And then finally I run one mixed element element coal burn. His skill is choose a card from your hand and discard it. When this unit is placed during the battle that your opponent's Vanguard attacked, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets 5k until the end of battle for every two cards in your opponent's hand. So, you know, it's good for those situations. So, that's the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope someone watches this and thinks, oh, that's fun, I might try it, or is inspired to build their own version and do something fun with it. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in a longer version, it'll be in the description. And, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for taking so long to put a new video out. See ya.